Hello Pokemon friends and welcome to another video. Today we take a look at a recently discovered Pokemon Silver prototype. No, not that one. A recently discovered demo of a German Pokemon Silver version, shortly before these games came out in Europe and North America, but after they already released in Japan. Thanks to Deoxys, a well-known member of DigiX forum, we can take a look at this demo cartridge of Pokemon Silver. He purchased the original cartridge off a Japanese seller and dumped the ROM for us. If you want to take a look for yourself, I'll link the place where you can find the ROM. But now, let's take a look at it, shall we? When looking at the demo, we won't see on first glance that it isn't a full retail version of Pokemon Silver. The intro is the same, the main menu is the same, the music is the same. Hell, Professor Oak's introduction is the same in the German retail version of Pokemon Silver. Basically, we do everything we would normally do if we wanted to play the game. Visit Professor Elm at the lab, getting our first Pokemon, head to Mr. Pokemon and meet Professor Oak. I searched every bit I could find and really, there wasn't any difference to the real game so far. That shows us how far the game already was in its development, especially when you consider that it already released in Japan at that time. After we talked to Mr. Pokemon, got our Pokedex, and Professor Elm gives us the call that he got robbed, we head back to New Barktown to investigate and meet our rival. After beating him, we head back, tell the police his name, and head for Violet... Well, that's where the demo ends. Seriously. This guy and this guy here stands here all day and tell you that you can't pass. Unfortunately for him, we can. Kinda. Fortunately for us, we have the power of cheats to walk through walls and right out of his sight. Now that we are in Violet City, you may ask, what to do now? When looking at most other demos, outside the playground you are allowed in, there isn't much other stuff programmed in to do. Not so in this very late demo of Pokemon Silver. For some reason, after the first roadblock, there were two more roadblocks in Violet City trying to hinder you in progressing the story, if for whatever reason you somehow made it through the first guards. But same as before, by using the walkthrough walls cheat you can pass him with ease. And you know what? The blocked area he protected is fully programmed. Yes, you can go all the way up Bellsprout Tower and fight Elder Lee, in this case Elder Marek. Thanks for ruining the pun journey. We get the HM Flash and may continue our journey. Or can't we? How much of the area is actually programmed? Well, let's find out. First gym? Okay. Now let's take a look at our beautiful new badge. Oh, you really can't. Well, fine. Let's try to get to the second gym. Okay. The third gym? Well. Fourth gym? Hmm? Fifth gym? The whole plot of Team Rocket disturbing the Lake of Rage and the takeover of the radio tower? Well, yes, every gym so far is programmed in. With some interesting glitches beside when doing the walkthrough walls cheat, basically all of Johto's story is in the demo cartridge. Then let's ask ourselves what differentiates this demo from actual cartridges or what is missing. Beside the obvious roadblocks, things you can't do are the following. Saving. The most important thing. You can save the game, but every time you reset or turn off the console, you will be welcomed with a new game screen, with the continue button missing. Evolving your starter. You gotta be kidding. It's basically the finished game and you can't evolve your... Okay. Well, but my rival starter won't evolve either, doesn't it? Oh, come on! Yes, I rare candied my starter up to level 100 and it didn't even evolve once. I guess that's to prevent players from seeing the starter's evolution before the game came out. And yes, it already was out in Japan. But we didn't have the internet the same way we have it today and... Getting informations were... Let's say, more difficult back then. Missing town names. When opening the map, 
despite the German version it just says town map. It doesn't matter where on Johto or Kanto map you would be looking. Maybe another way of trying to hold back information. But you know what? With my IQ of 3000 I overcame the system and I tried to look at the map when using fly and yes the HMs are also in it and voila, every town name perfectly correct. Or let's say at least the actual perfect German town's names. Okay, so that we know a lot of it is programmed, what's the most logic thing to do next? Checking everything available of course. 6th gym, check. 7th gym, check. 8th gym, check. Claire, check. Lugia, uh, yes. Ho oh, oh, oh well. Celebi, still no, check. Sudowoodoo, yes it's there, and... <laughs> yes, <laughs> and there and there. Eight badges in, let's try the Elite Four. Looking good so far. Yes. 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 By Lance. And now to Kanto. Oh. Well, here comes one of the demo's most major problems. If it saves and restarts itself, like after seeing the credits, you can't really progress and it starts over. Damn. Does this mean we can't get to Kanto at all? Well, maybe we just try to get there by train. Always works. Now that we are in Kanto, what can we do here? Brock? Check. Misty? Check. The whole stolen coil side story? Check. Search? Check. Erica? Check. Sabrina? Check. Janie? Check. Lane? Check. And Blue? Check. Oh, and now we also can get Ho-Oh. Red? Well, no. Sadly, Red requires to have all 16 badges and already beaten the Elite for once in order to trigger. So sadly, we can't beat Red. So all in all, what does this demo mean? It's interesting to see that basically the entire game was packed onto the demo cartridge. And when thinking about it, it kinda makes sense for them to don't do extra work and just block off the rest of the map. Some cheap roadblocks and the inability to see your badges or your location on the map or the inability for your starter to evolve. I mean, data mining wasn't a thing back then as it is now, where people would have every information the game provides within hours, or having the whole game leaked weeks before release. Look at the Sun and Moon demo or the Ores demo. It's completely contained to a small area with nothing more to see when leaving its boundaries. This demo here basically is a product by its time. An easier time if you want to say it that way. It's funny how they try to block you off. Nevertheless, it was interesting to see what is different. And to be honest, it kinda made me a child again, trying to uncover all the secrets and changes it may have. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and I hope you had as much fun uncovering Demo Johto secrets as I had. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments. Until then, see you soon. Bye! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. Why?